After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops have stole me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. An important part of my job is communication. A lot of times you have people that have been in quite a few times and you've got those first timers that are shy, they're scared, they don't know what to do or make of this whole experience. So it's important to be able to, to be able to talk to them, tell them exactly what's gonna happen and then they can understand and do what they're supposed to do. And it just makes everybody's job a lot easier. Are those shorts underneath your shorts or are they underwear? Yeah, they're underwear. Why are you yelling at me like I know? Because, I mean, why are you even cuffing me? I mean, what Because that's my job. You should thank me because these cuffs are a lot more comfortable than the other cuffs. Okay, well, you know, I don't know what the heck is going on, but, you know, I'm... Maybe don't have a driver's license. Um, you don't need one to get into here. Maybe it's the alcohol, you think? Yeah. See, look how much better that is. Your hands aren't behind okay, your back I anymore. Know, but what, so why, you should thank me. What? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Boom. You don't like me, do you? No, not right now. Okay. Come on, ma'am, come over here. Why don't you take that row all the way down to the last chair? Be nicer to the medical staff, though. They can help you more than me. She don't like me. I think she just wants to be left alone. How long have you been drinking for? For what? How long have you been drinking for? I've been drinking a six pack. Six beers, you can't open your eyes? There you go. Using any illegal drugs, including marijuana? No. How often do you drink? Every day. Are you gonna go through withdrawals? No. Are you done? I'm done with you. Have a seat. I'm done asking you questions. Where are you going? She's not happy. The female you brought in, what was her story? We went to a report of an occupied stolen vehicle. As I arrived uh, from the north, uh, the driver of this female uh, saw my patrol vehicle, backed up at a high rate of speed, almost hitting the officers on the bicycles. Uh, turned westbound through the complex, got out to Koval, caused a vehicle accident with two other vehicles, and then she rolled northbound back into the apartment complex and, and more or less crashed into the first parking stall. Uh, after about a 15-minute standoff with her, uh, we got air unit and canine and a, and a ballistic shield. Finally, she uh, started listening to verbal commands, exited the vehicle, and we were able to take her into custody. It's a little bit more than just a... <laughs> and, and now we come to find out yeah. that, you know, the information she's given us is wrong. Her name and date of birth are wrong. We have a, a good ID number her far, for her finally, as, long as, a, as well as a social security number. So what's the black stuff on her face? That, that's from the pavement. Um, she tried to fight the officers uh, when we took her into custody, and, and she kind of lost that battle, so... Wow. All right, guys. All right, hey, thank thanks you. Thanks a lot. No why are you so angry? This is not everybody staring at me like this is some kind of Because you're yelling. Well, everybody's mind their own business and do what the they got to do and let me go. Well, if you'd stop. Because I have not did a mother thing around here. Ma'am, maybe. I'm sick and tired of this Ma'am, maybe if you'd stop yelling, they wouldn't look at you. Just now saying. everyone is looking at you. Great. The last person that did that, they were sorry. Ma'am, settle I down. I apologize. Thank you. Just, just tone it down. We're gonna work through this together. All you do is close your eyes, sit back here, and relax. What are you guys looking at? Nobody's. No one's looking at you. I'm gonna let you uh, try to relax for a little bit, okay? I can't have you freaking out like this. Do you want to tell me what happened when you got brought in? It's all drinking and driving. It's were all right there on my ticket. Were you celebrating tonight? What were you celebrating? Celebrating the victory. Of? Of love. Of love? Yeah. Are you in a relationship? No, I wish I was. Well, that shouldn't be too hard for you, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Perfection. OK, I'm just going to put these back on. Oh, relax, my relax. Goodness. I know, it's such a pain. 
Okay, um, I'm like, why yeah, are you putting these handcuffs on me so tight? You know why, ma'am? Because you're why? in jail. Stop fighting me. You're in jail right now. You have to have these on you. Now, do you oh, want your... Lord Jesus Christ. Do you want your hands behind your back and head? No, I don't to understand side? why... Why are you yelling at me? I'm right here. Am I yelling at you? No. So that's not very nice, is it? Be nice. I'm trying to be nice. I can see you're trying to, but you try a little harder for me. I have not come at you at all. Okay. All right. I understand. Okay. Now, are you feeling a little bit better since you got brought yes, in? Yes, I am. Okay. What? I don't think... You're not... Huh? I don't know. It's something about you and alcohol. It's not you. I know. I'm just tired. I'm ready to go. Why don't you just go have a seat in the back row? Look how angry she is. Seat right here in the front row, okay? Okay, let's go into the next room. All right, go ahead and place your back up against the wall right here. This is what I got for you, okay? This is a copy of your charges. Okay. Being charged with grand larceny auto, possession of a stolen vehicle, and falling simple to a PO. Uh -huh. All right, there's your bell right here, 3,000, 3,200. Have a seat in the second row with the other girls. Okay. Listen for your name to be called, okay. okay? Try to be cool in here, though, okay? Because you're halfway through the process now. You don't want to end up in a cell. Okay. All right, go ahead and have a seat. Good luck to you. Wow. She uh, calmed down, though. Definitely. I hope she stays calm down because they're not going to tolerate what she was doing out there. No, not at all. There's a lot of excitement in here. There's a lot of things going on that uh, are very unpredictable. Some of my favorite uh, people to talk to are the people that... Uh, really haven't ever committed a crime in their lives and it's their first time in here. And uh, communicating with them and helping them out to know what the process is, it makes uh, for a better place for everyone, really. Got into a fight? Who did you get into a fight with? Oh, the guy over there. Who did you guys get into a fight about? Oh, my mom. So what happened with your mom? He got upset that I was drinking, and he's been kissing her ass, and she stuck up for him. So I just went back and forth? Yeah. Sounds like a nice little family gathering. Oh, lovely. Okay, right this way. I'm gonna go down this aisle. All the way down. One coming your way, Katrina. I'm just gonna have you sit right here until she's done, and then go from there. Oh. Mom staying with you guys, or she was. She took off running scared. That started crying, and they brought me in on a domestic. And they're saying that I beat her up. Is this your wife or your girlfriend? Or... My ex we broke up days ago, yesterday. Oh, okay. But we've been cool. Okay. We've been to another room in the house, and it's all been fine. Leave it alone. Okay. Causing no problems. I was in the bedroom with the dogs. Please don't cause trouble in here. Thanks a lot. He's lying. She was singing karaoke, and he got mad because he didn't like it, and he punched her in the face. So I arrested him for domestic violence, and she became agitated and attacked me. She's obviously drunk or right. high. Right. We put her in cuffs, I put her in the back of the car. She pulls out of the cuffs, slips out of the cuffs, tries to escape the car. She's kicking the other officer. She's trying to bite us. I got her blood all over me. Wow. And, um, and then we brought her here. Now she's apologetic. She's, uh, you know, she's good to go now. Thanks a lot. Do you drink? You drink? I drink. I take pills. I shoot up. I take car. I do everything. It's all my fault. I put myself here because of that. Where, wherever he went. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's a. Hey, 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 hey. hey. I hate him. Put his hands on my face. Rotten hell, bitch. No, you want a pair of these? Please don't add to it. I understand that you're angry because he hit you. Yeah. You love him. I know you do. No. Well, you said you had been drinking earlier, so, you yeah. know. And took some Xanax on top of it. Oh, so Xanax on top of alcohol. It's a nice combination. Yeah. Um, we're going to get you through the process as best we can, OK? Yeah. And you cooperating helps us get you through the process a little bit quicker, OK? Thanks a lot. So what happened? I have been drinking. Oh, yeah. I, I, I told him probably six drinks mm -hmm. since about 9.30. Basically, he made my wife went to breakfast this morning. We had a couple drinks. She went home. I went to another bar. I had a couple drinks there. Anyway, I think the speed limit's like 35, and the guy said I was going 55, which 
maybe. I don't know. I rarely speed, but whatever. How'd you do on the uh, field sobriety test? Field sobriety test? test uh, probably not so good. And um, he handcuffs me, sits me on the curb, asks me who could pick me up. I said, well, it's my wife. So he calls her up. And next thing I know, we're both handcuffed. But she would never got pulled over if the officer didn't call her and say, come down and get your husband. It's our policy to contact the registered owner. And she just so happens to be the registered owner of that vehicle. Uh, when the officer called her, you know, he made sure that she wasn't under the influence. But unfortunately, she was too much over the limit. Probably a little guilty, but I thought it was still really OK. Yeah. Four mm -hmm. hours of sleep. How about the efficiency, at least? You guys got to ride down here together right. in the same car, right? We did. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully you guys will drop us off to get our car, both our cars out of impact at the same time. That would be great. You know what? You're not a bad person. I'm not. Your wife's I'm not a bad not. person. I'm we all make bad choices, sir. Everybody we all makes do. bad decisions. We all do. Right? That's all. You just chalk it up as one of those, and life goes on. <laughs> at least you have the right intention. Oh, wow. What happened that got you in this chair? I tried You're... getting out of the cuffs because they've been cutting my arms. Yeah, you can't do that. No, yeah. no, you guys can't put them on so tight. They weren't on so tight. Yeah, they you were, were on able tight. To, That's you why were I able took to them slip off. them off. Oh, yeah. So they weren't you know what? that you tight. You guys are just downright rude. Who needs something I got right slapped now? across the face, and I'm the one that's tied down to the chair, and he's in a cozy room. What the f is up with that? He's not in a cozy room. Well, what is this? What is this? I didn't do nothing wrong. Are we going to be able to get you out of that chair? Yeah. Going home so, time yes, by your actions. Yes, yes, I'm not going to do anything. I just need to pee. Those... They got that black woman over there walking there laughing at me all. Oh, Listen, that's exactly what's going to keep you in there. See, all those threats yeah. that you've been making and all the, the potty mouth no, stuff she's... that you've been talking, well, you should listen for a minute. She's snickering. Okay. Oh, he, you're going to be in here for a while while she's busy over there flirting with that dude. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to go home. Okay, so how are you going to do that? I'm going to walk. How? My feet. How are you going to get out of here? cooperating and yes. listening now, right? She's just belligerent. She's not even hearing anything. She's just continuing to argue. Let her cool down for a while. Nothing's going to make her happy. Yeah. So what do you think of this chair? <laughs> I call this chair a time of reflection. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that it's yeah, appropriate? I, it reminds me no, of a believer chair. It reminds me of every muscle that I have. Ah, oh, right on. <laughs> we're gonna push you forward to stand up, okay? So we're gonna help you. Ready? Okay. All right, we're gonna take the cuffs off. Come on over here and have a seat. So, you know, you're officially in the system now, but you're only in here for obstruction. I was just having a really bad day. One thing I should know by now is don't drink if you're in a bad mood. Well, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Some people have their professions. Yours is not being a very good drunk, okay? <laughs> You're not good at it. You gotta be able to maintain your cool. Better, I like you like this, though. I'm a better singer. <laughs> there you go, that's it. All right, good luck to you. I'm really passionate about is the public's perception of our behavior. We are trained to recognize and deal with subtle behaviors, specifically people who initially we perceive not to respect uh, authority. We have to really check that quickly so the situation doesn't get out of control, and that's something that we would like the public to know about. <laughs> Stay right here. Yeah. Put your other hand on there. Put your hands right there so you don't fall. I got to take a piss, man. OK. You got to do one thing at a time. I got to take a Yeah, I caught that. Right. Come on, buddy. I'll lay down some place. Some wax. Piss, man. Is that all we got? Yep. Come on. We're going to take these chains and stuff off here, OK? You take your shoes take off. Your shoes on. Sergeant Zidzik, what do we have there? This guy came from pre-arrest, extremely intoxicated, throwing his weight around. Um, he's so drunk, for safety reasons, not to put the chains off, but um, he needs to sleep it off. Yeah, he'll be all right. We'll keep an eye on. I'm gonna be out here in 72 hours, right? Because it's Sunday. I don't again. know. 
What do you oh, mean? Yeah. It depends on your behavior. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something about my behavior. What's your behavior? You look terrible. Thank you. You're a CEO. You can't even be a cop. You can't be cops. So you, and first of all, I hate women firemen and cops. Because you can't carry 180 pounds. I like firemen. Yeah, I like firemen, not firewomen. Um, what brings you to jail today? The lady I'm living with that I paid the rent called up. Mm. All right, elbows up, sir. Elbows, oh, up. elbows up. Let me tell you something. My hands are about to clip. Well, we're going to try and take well, these gloves off. Hard to beat, to believe it, to tell you the truth. Stay facing yeah. the wall. Excuse me, Come sir. Come on. I've been voting since I'm 18. Good. I'll be walking out in two days. Yeah, Stay TV's facing the wall. Really... Oh, man. Excuse me, I'm from Alaska. We don't put up with this. Oh, man. Oh, look, I'm going to break my arm down. Just stay right facing the wall. Excuse me. But you don't have to lift stay from that high. Stay facing the wall. You don't have to lift from that high, right? Oh, it's gross. Huh? Your actions dictate our actions. Oh, freedom of so. speech is still freedom of speech. Not in here. You are hurting my arm. Right, let's go. Dude, can somebody lift my lower arm go down, please? Can you cooperate? Yeah, I'm working on it. I want you to eat yes or no. Yes. All right, stand this way. Stay standing. Be real still. Real still, man. I'm having a little problem here. I'm a little stressed out here right now. Are you allergic to anything? Yeah, probably. Do you feel like you want to hurt yourself, suicide? Yeah, uh, what, what was suicide giving me like a free room Keep your or not? Arms still. So if you, if you I, if I say I got suicide, yes things no. you're gonna put me in my own room. There's right? no in between. It's a yes or no answer. Oh, let me explain something. I'm not answering. And okay. so you're suicidal. So you're suicidal. Basically. I'm gonna take my clothes off now, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not suicidal. How'd you come in contact with John there? Uh, we got a call for battery domestic violence. And we, when we, upon arrival, contacted the victim. We said that John was in the back room and he was extremely intoxicated. Me and my partner, when we entered the room, he tried to push us out of the room. At that time, me and my partner would grab him and put him in handcuffs and walked him out to a car where he followed us the whole way. All right, well, thanks. All right. If you want to take a look at my leg, you're a nurse, right? We done? Well, she's yeah. a nurse, right? Come on. Well, what about my leg? Come on. No, let's go. What about Let my go leg? Of... Let's go. Mr. Oh, here we go with the busted wrist again. Oh, see. All you. right. Walk normally, sir. Can I hold my pants up, please? Walking only when you lock me up. Well, where am I going? Right here. All right, if you step on in, please. Right against the wall. Face the wall. All right, spread your feet, John. Stay right there. Okay. Stay right there, John. Well, Don't move. Where are we going so far? Stay right there. I'll tell you when to move. The blood's coming back. Yeah, what are you doing here with Bill? All right, keep moving. He's just obviously intoxicated. He's gentlemen. bombed. Yeah, he's bombed. He's bombed. Get the guy. Get the guy. Get the guy. Okay, listen. There's going to be one contact ready right now. Hey, sit down. No, you see, I think I need to sit down. down. That's a good idea, wouldn't you say? Go face the wall. Face the wall right face there. Face the wall. I just got my damn pants over here. Yeah, bastard. I just like moved. Yeah, we'll give you the swing. This one's all you. All you. All you, John. I got to say, it was 72 hours, so you let me out, right? For a little while, at least. Wow. What's the deal with that other guy? All right, so sometimes uh, two different alcohols don't mix. Sometimes. Sometimes. You are right, sir. John, yes. don't uh, wake up, partner. My boss is here to talk to you. Oh, good. John, sit up for me, please. Excuse me, I'm sitting up, right? Do you remember what happened earlier? Yeah, well, the woman I lived with called you guys because I was drinking uh, vodka in my bedroom. OK. And so I actually kind of wonder why you have me here. I need to evaluate you to see how stable you are to get through this process. I, should, you... I should be home. I should be eating my burritos I just made. Okay. All right, we'll come back and talk to you, John. Uh, excuse me, sir, but I have not committed a crime here. I'm standing in my own apartment, cooking a burrito. The woman I live with pissed off at me for something I did not do. There's no violence or nothing. And here I am locked up. What am I getting in charge with? Well, that, you know what, to be honest with you, I don't know. We're going to have to take a look at your charges. Oh, you, well, you acted up. You know, I didn't act up. I just wouldn't let the police come in my house. I'm in my bedroom. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about when you came into the county jail. You had no right to lock me up. All right, you, you can feel that way, all right? Well, I can definitely prove it. Okay. So I'm going to be stuck there sitting on my dead ass till you get a education, right? 
All right, John, thanks. Yeah, All right. Based on my interview, I've concluded that he's not suitable for general population, and he will stay segregated until he is sober. Yeah, he seems a little angry still. Very angry. get really busy and when there's a lot going on I have to be aware of who I'm patting down, who's behind me, and what I need to do. And my partners and I, we become like a precision team where we know exactly what's going on and what we need to do without even having to talk to each other. Straight out here. Over here, ma'am. Is that your robe or are you in karate? Come here. Face the wall. Oh, okay. You anything sharp on you? Knives, needles, razor blades, safety pins? Just my brain. <laughs> okay. I guess we can get her some clothes, huh? Well. Up on the wall. Put your hand up on the okay. wall. Sorry. It's all right. Bad. It's okay. Just listen to direction, okay? So I wasn't out there when you got arrested. What did you get arrested for? I the cops. They brought me here. Josefina. I can't. I'm asking you. Here, put this shirt on. Somebody tried to kill me. Did you try to defend yourself? What? Yes, of course. Okay. How did you do that? Bit, Here, uh, put your shirt on. No, put your put, shirt on. Put the shirt on, ma'am. Oh. You brought Josefina in? I did. What happened with her tonight? Well, I encountered her at Lake Mead and Jones. Um, she was in a cab, and she was in the front seat of the cab, and she was actively uh, hitting the cab driver with her fists. Oh, my. She resisted me, taking her into custody as well, mm -hmm. so here we are. Her side of the story is when she got in the cab, he got on the radio and mm -hmm. said, I've got her. And uh, she took that as a threat, evidently. Oh. And I explained to her at the scene, I said, well, do you think that maybe he was letting dispatch know that he successfully picked his fare up? Right. And she didn't believe that. She thought he was going to kill her like that, so. So what did you end up officially charging her uh, with? Then? The charge is battery, but there's a, a taxi driver enhancement, okay. which moves it from a misdemeanor to a gross misdemeanor. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here, step over here. Uh, a domestic violence. I dumped a jar of tomato sauce over his head. Did you? Is that what's on your back? And it was cold, and they claimed it was hot. You think a man could handle it? It should have been sexy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> could have been a hot moment, huh? Doesn't tomato sauce stain? Yes, tomato sauce does stain. But you know, tomato I asked sauce, him what tomato kind sauce. Of noodles yeah. he wanted, and he didn't answer fast enough. How's that? Tomato sauce is really good if you get sprayed by a skunk, though, right? You take a tomato sauce bath. Is you that true? Asked, you asked him what kind of noodles he wanted, and he didn't answer fast <laughs> yeah. enough, so you dumped it over his head? Oh. That, that really wasn't it. Oh, but okay. It'll make a nice scenario. How's that? <laughs> okay. I got a year to do Thanks. now. Okay. I don't know. All right, walk down to the medical the medical desk. What happened with Sandra tonight? Uh, basically, she's being arrested for domestic violence. This okay. is her third offense, so it makes it a felony. So basically, she got in a fight with her boyfriend and scratched him and uh, threw some spaghetti sauce on him, I guess. So. so that really happened, the spaghetti sauce? Yep. Over his head? Yep, over his head. Was it on there when you showed up? Yeah, it was all over the floor in the kitchen. You could see that the stove was still on, so it was hot. She's been drinking. I'm not sure if he has or not, okay. but uh, but the main thing is that they've been together for a while and got in a fight, so. He hit me first, and I'm the one in jail. Are you dating him, or does he live with you? I lost my husband three years ago, mm -hmm. and we kind of hooked up. Yeah. We don't get along so well. Oh. Sandra, did you have anything to drink tonight? Yes. What'd you have? Yes, ma'am. What'd you have? Beer. OK, how many? I don't know. I lost count. Too much on beer her? going okay. on. Too Sandra, much. walk with me while we're talking. Yeah. OK. Too much beer going on. I called the cops. Can you believe this? That's why we go to court, and you get to tell your side of the story in court to the judge. Where do I go? This way. Oh, She's going to be OK. Right. Have a seat, Sandra. Just try okay. to relax. I'm not going to do a year over a jar of tomato sauce. Right. I'm bleeding not guilty. Not guilty? Okay. 
It was a crime. That's for you to tell the judge when yes. you go to court. You're going to have your day in court. Yes, I hope so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad you can't enjoy it. <laughs> Why do I want to enjoy it? Disgusting. <laughs> like seriously? <laughs> nasty. You are. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> you got that right, darling. <laughs> You're disgusting. You're a disgusting human being. You gotta be nice and calm, Josephine. She's stuck in. No, she started it. Let me help you out. You go and sit in that red chair over there a little bit further Thank away from you. her. That's what I tried to do. Okay. Yeah, right I'm going to have you move over because I want to avoid a conflict. Thanks. This woman's been cleared by our psychologist. We'd be able to put her away in a side cell. So she she's had some alcohol involved, but she's obviously not fully uh, aware of what's going on. So we're going to put her away from her own safety and safety of our staff. Hey, what happened earlier with the cab driver? What was that about? I don't know if he says I got her. Who was he saying that to? To somebody I don't know. I okay. tried to get out. Okay. He just locked the doors. Oh. I feel like running. She's a world traveler. Oh, you can send is. us a postcard, Josefina. Well, let's get so to know your roommates. <coughs> Pardon us. Excuse us, ladies. New girl. New girl here. Watch out for her. Put your knees up. Put your knees on this bench. Knees. Put your knees up on the... My what? Knees. knees. Put your knees up there. Okay. So are we going to lay down on the ground or are we going to kneel up on the bench? We're going to lay down on the ground. Hey, Josefina. I'm going to stay Sorry. in front of the no. police. No, lay down. Lay down on the ground. Lay down. down. Ow! Bring Ow! your knees up. Nobody's hurting you. Bring your knees Ow! up. Lay down. Nobody's hurting you. Hurry, oh, get God. down on the ground. Good. Josefina. I love you. We love you, love too. You. Lay down. Lay down. You. Lay down. There you go. There you go. You're almost there. Come on. Love you. OK, we'll just turn around. Right. I love you. Watch your head. I love you. Stop, yes, I stop, stop, stop. I don't. I don't love you. I love you. You're the best you with me, my God. You stay just like that until we walk out of the door, OK? I love you. Holy drama queen. I don't know that we're going to get a postcard now, though. <laughs> no, I think you're really going to get a postcard now. I've been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about nine years now and I've seen a lot of people come here from out of town. They see the commercials, they hear the stories, and it's always the same story. I thought you could do anything in Vegas, and no, that's not how it works out. So when they come in here, they're kind of surprised that they got arrested for things, but well, not everything you do here stays in Las Vegas. Face the wall. Spread your feet and face the wall. Don't be moving around a lot. Uh, not you? Can't go to sleep. What's your first name? Lewis. Lewis? Lewis. Can't take your piss? Yeah, as soon as I get done searching you. What happened to your face? Yeah, you ass. Yeah, beat me up. Face the wall. Face the wall. You cat. The cops beat me up. Come on, come on. Walk back this way. This way. You Have a seat, relax. Have a seat. What's your last name, sir? What's this guy in for, the one you brought in? Well, we got hailed down by a couple citizens out there saying some guy was walking out in traffic up on the boulevard at the Strip, and they felt like he was intentionally trying to hurt himself. So we came across him. It could tell he's very intoxicated. Public intoxication? Yep. Just a uh, public nuisance, doing crazy things when he's drunk. Yeah, thanks. Hey, bro. Can you get your cuffs on? Ready here. Not yet. You just got in there. You need to cool down a little bit, right? Go on in there. Can Go on in there. The... No. Let's take them off a little bit. Can okay. I take a piss? We will in a little bit. I can't take a piss? Not yet. We'll be back. Come on, dude. Relax. Yeah. Get a restraint chair for him. Relax. That wasn't necessary. Good Not this time, sir. What did, did you tell you? As soon as you pull down, obviously uh, you're not pulling down. Well, right. He's active this right Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. All right, once that's on, let's give him a check. Ready? Come on, sir. Stand up. I got you. 
scoot back a little bit. Put your hands down. I can't Put your take hands the piss. down. Put your hands down. Put your hands down behind your butt. I can't take the piss. We were talking about that a minute ago, Lester. But you decided to come at me. Put your at head the door. back. Damn. Oh, man. Woo! We're going to put Lester over by the uh, pat down area until he cools down a little bit more. Since he walked in the door, he's had a bad attitude. He's going to be sitting in there for a little bit until he cools down. I'll check on him periodically until Lester calms down and we're able to get him out of the chair. So it's totally up to him. Time to get Lester out of the chair. See if uh, he's still a little upset, but we're gonna try to put him aside. Something. All right. Okay. Get back, sir. Hold on. They'll help you up. All right. Stand up, man. Put your feet on the ground. Stand up, horse. Go up on the bench right here, sir. <clears throat> Same thing up. as before. Put your knees up there. Cross your ankles. Listen, we're gonna take the cuffs off. Oh. Okay, sir. Just comply with our instructions. Lester. Yes. Sir. Earlier, when we told you to stay on the bench, yes, sir. okay, we were in the same situation, yes, okay? Sir. You decided to stand up yes, sir. and come towards the door at me. No, never, sir. Lester, you did. You're still a little upset. We're going to leave you in here. No banging. Don't yes, try to sir. hurt yourself or anything can like I, that, all right? Can I, can can I finish go? first? Can I finish first? They're yes, controlling sir. you because of your own actions, all right? Yes, sir. We're going to walk out of here, same thing. You're going to stay on that bench until the door closes, OK? Yes, sir. Any other sign will be a sign of aggression, all right? Yes. We'll have to do what we have to do, OK? Yes, sir. Stay there, follow the officer's instructions, OK? OK, sir. Stay in that position until we leave the room, you hear me? Yes, sir. Good job, guys. We'll see if he cools down. If not, we'll just come back and deal with him again. But hopefully he does. Hopefully he learned the lessons. A lot of people think that Vegas is the adult playground where they can come and pretty much get away with anything. And people don't realize is that this is a normal community. A lot of young, young girls come here. They get involved in prostitution. They think it's easy money. For a lot of them, it is easy money. They start getting arrested. And you know they end up in jail. So it's like jail anywhere else. It just happens to be in Las Vegas. Separate your feet. Got a little bit of ink, huh? How old are you? 23. You started young, huh? Yeah. What about jewelry? Yeah. Here's some. They're about to come out, but as you can see, they're getting infected. All right, you're going to go see medical now, OK? Right over here. You're going to walk down that aisle all the way down to the end. OK? All the way down. It appears that she solicited six undercover detectives. So charging her with six counts. $2,400? Wow. For what? <laughs> that's her asking price. Six guys, one girl. That's pretty busy. It is pretty busy. Well, she wouldn't need to work the rest of the month. Or at least the rest of the night. Oh. Stevie's got some piercings that are embedded into her flesh. They appear to be a little bit infected. So if you're here for a while, they'll sit you with some antibiotics for your cold and for your plugs, all right? All right. You know, see it again. Thanks. She's got warrants in the city jail, and she's got six counts, $1,200 each count. It's all misdemeanor stuff, but it's going to be expensive. I'm not doing nothing. I got to go. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not even doing nothing. I'm not even doing anything. Slam my arm in the door, dude. All right, calm, calm down, down now. What is y'all doing? Stand still. Why are you pulling on my hair? 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 Why are
Why are you yelling? Because I'm not even doing nothing. Quit yelling. You're yelling. I hear you. So they over here manhandle me. Stop, Stop it. Please. You're flipping your Stop hair in our eyes. I'm not Stop trying that. to do it's that. Right. Why would I put I'm my not. pony hair in your face? I don't want your pony hair in my face. Y'all some mark. Keep that to yourself. What's she getting arrested for? She left her kids in the car while she was um, gambling inside the casino. <laughs> yeah, it's like Dottie's little casino bar. Wow, how old are the kids? Two and four. I need it before I get loose from her. No, what Guess what she did? What? She left her four-year-old and her two-year-old in the car while she was in a casino gambling. Awesome. They were in there for a little over an hour. And with our 100 degree heat, we were walking away. screaming for the police to come help them. Did you help them? Did you help them? They're your kids. Did you? They're Why you had an option? You're the one that abandoned them. And they them. mine. And they mine. So you can leave them in a car and like a freaking animal. And, and they, they mine. mine. Now what? Not anymore. Now they state owns them. We're done here. Okay. Watch your feet, please. Yes, ma'am. And please don't step on my toes. I got a key. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Break it. Now, does your hair come out? Did you buy it? Please don't do that, officer. Hold your head still. Put your knees up on the bench. Get up on your knees. Is that a supervisor here? You're about to break my ribs. We'll let you go if you just hold still until that girl I'm not even resisting. Y'all pulling on me. So that, yes, you understand. I don't too. understand. You don't understand anything. I'm prone right on the floor. Lay down on the ground. Get all the way down. All the way down. Flat Lay down. Pull your feet out. Do you see how they put my hair out, supervisor? All right, you're going to stay just like this until Not we moving, leave. Ma'am. Oh, she was stubborn. I want all that to my belongings. OK. Don't worry. All right. All of Okay. So we have to take the clips out of their hair and the extra hair pieces that are in there. Some of them pass it off to other inmates and they can change their appearance. And whatever we find up in their hair clips, that's contraband. That can hurt somebody. Right over here, okay? Right over there. Okay, have a seat. Lean forward, flip your hair forward. Run your fingers through your hair as if you're shampooing. And does your hair come out? Okay, grab the clips. That's all of it? You going bald? No, I'm a girl, though. It's the style. You're kind of fake, aren't you? I'm not fake personality-wise. or fake right. a lot of my body, yeah. Come on over here. Let's get your tattoos. Nothing else? No. What does that say? The latest night into temptation. Got them everywhere. You don't have anything gang on you, do you? I'm a blood. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Yeah, I know. We didn't see any on there. Come on over here. Sit on the girl side, which is the right hand side. You don't do anything without raising your hand. Listen for your name to be called. You understand? Yeah. Can I use the phone right now? Um, you may. Just listen for your name, okay? Because people might start calling you right away. So listen for your name as you're on the phone, okay? okay. All right, you're welcome. She's never been here before for prostitution, but, you know, she was a willing participant in the game and got to say no. Unfortunately, she said yes, and now she's here. It's been a few hours since Bakita came into custody, so I'm going to walk back here and talk to her just to see if she's calmed down a little bit. And it looks like she's still sitting up just like she was last time. Makita, do you know why you're here? Do you know what he's charging you with? No, I don't care. You don't care? How many kids do you have? Zero. You have zero kids? I couldn't remember if you said you had two or three. That's why I was asking you. Y'all yeah, don't care. I don't care about nothing, so it don't matter. Well, you have to understand our point of view. When you come in upset like that, you we have to get, you've got to calm down. I was running my mouth. I wasn't in here swinging on y'all or none of that. So how y'all give me? She's still kind of in denial about her situation and how she came in. 
So it looks like she's going to have to stay back here for just a little bit longer to calm down, have a cool down period. So I just don't think she'll quite make it out there in the open lobby with the other inmates. Okay, Vakita, thank you. Working here for almost seven years, you, you try to believe what people want to tell you, but when inmates are trying to tell me that they didn't do anything wrong, and then I'll go and check the records, and it's completely different from what they're telling me, and, and you know, I just learned to be a better judge of character. I, I don't believe a lot of things people tell me. It's just what we deal with on a daily basis. Yeah. No, sure, last? No. Okay, listen, one more time. I want you to what? face the wall, okay? Where were you tonight? What's the story? I went to the win, and then I, I don't know what happened, really. Well, what were you doing at the win? Were you, were you gambling? I was trying to. Were you going to mace me? No. Not if you mace me. You could have maced the officer. I could have. Relax. No. No. Look at the wall. Isn't that a pretty color? Why did you get arrested tonight? What's going on with you? Why are you, you so upset? That is my question as well. Oh, you don't even know? No. What were you drinking? Champagne. A lot of champagne? <laughs> as much as I can. Wow. <laughs> I'm not surprised by that at all. Why did I get arrested? I'm thinking it has to do with your um, bubbly personality right now. All right, come on. Let's go get you screened by medical, OK? Why am I being arrested? Have a seat. Highly agitated right now. Yes, I am. Hey, I've got handcuffs on for no reason. I'd like to know why I am handcuffed. Why are you yelling at me? I'm right here. You are a very rude lady. No, I'm not. Oh, you really? Not to I want to believe that no, you're no, not. No. You know what? Let's... I don't know what I'm doing here, for, first of all. Suzanne. We're giving you a tour of the jail, OK? But first <laughs> yeah. step is to give me your birthday. You, you know what? I shot. need a lawyer. OK. Well, you'll have your chance. But Suzanne, this is medical staff. You need to answer them. They're not it's medical the, staff. It's not, not a police officer. Cops. I'm not a police officer. Too bad. Is that a no? How do no you outfit? refuse that look? He, he gave you the smoldering eyes. <laughs> How do you refuse that? He's kind of cute, huh? Well, be nice to him. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to get your information for another reason. You know, I'll meet your number later on. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wade. You think I'm going to really tell you the truth? You want to tell me? <laughs> I'll make it up. Hundred two. I'd say hundred. Yeah. Oh, great. Just add a couple of pounds. The sweater. It's just the sweater. Well, it is. It's totally, it's actually, <laughs> fabric and the turtle like this. All right, Suzanne, you're, you're good to go. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I get to go. Okay, turn me loose. No, no, we're not turning you loose. We're not putting you back out there on the street. Why don't you sit down right here? I'd like to know what you did. Okay, I was at my house, and I was, like, um, drinking some champagne, and then I got in the car, and I said, oh, no, I shouldn't drive. And so I just sat in the car, and I was, like, drinking the champagne, and I went, look, 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 and all of a sudden, I, I, I'm arrested. And then did all these cops come around. How many were there? Too many. Oh. One is too many. Oh, I mean, man. here's the thing. You can't arrest a person for not doing something. I just want to point out that you can't even have an open container in your car. I was in my own house, and they dragged me out of my damn house. Wait, I thought they got you out of your car. No. You got to well, stick you know, to your story. Yeah, I sat in the car, but Story's I was right changing. in front of my house. I, did, I wasn't Revolving. driving. I, I didn't Susie, do Susie, you need to find one story and stick to it. You keep changing Here's it up a little bit. If you can accuse me of a crime, you can keep me. And if not, you better let me go. OK. OK, that's a deal. Her husband was brought in, too. Hi, Richard. What brings you two in here tonight? I have no idea. OK, what did the they... The cops came in for what reason? Who knows? They came into your home. They came in my home, asked them for a mm -hmm. warrant, and boom! I got thrown mm -hmm. on the floor. That's what happened. How did your girlfriend end up here with you? Better ask the guy that she was having her drive around. He takes all the money she's got on her, so he is using her. He's been taking her, her out of her. Did you have some kind of an altercation tonight? I told him, I want the key to the car, and I want the car, and I want Susan. Mm -hmm. And he said, we're going to call the cops. I said, mm -hmm. call the cops. It's my house. Anybody have you tried to know? talk to Susie about this? I've talked to her. How can you talk to an alcoholic? Mm -hmm. You'll be able to make some phone calls if you need to, OK? I don't know anybody here in town. OK. 
So why is she here and why is he here? She made a phone call regarding a domestic disturbance call between her and her husband. Also, her employee made the same phone call. Both Suzanne and her husband both started saying, you need a warrant, you can't come in here, you need a warrant, we're not letting you in. They opened the door long enough for the officers to get, a, get control of the male half. When they went to take him into custody, uh, Suzanne came outside saying, what are you doing, you can't do this, this is wrong, you have no business doing this, and was not listening to the officers. They had to physically push her back so they could take the male half into custody. She came back into the scene. So with the, her not listening, she was taken into custody for obstruction. Male half ended up getting arrested for domestic violence and for resisting arrest. Now the employee, Carlos, he didn't try to get involved at all? No, uh, he witnessed the, the pushing from the male half into Suzanne, onto Suzanne in the apartment. And that's why I say he was one of the second persons calling in. Okay. Um, so you don't remember if Carlos was there when the police no, came? No, I was in my car in the parking lot, and all of a sudden here come the cops. I'm like, I hadn't even moved a muscle. And I'm like, now what? OK. What the hell? You don't remember having a fight with no, Richard? No, I didn't a fight have a fight with, with anyone. You didn't have a fight with Richard? Believe me, when I come out, oh, I come out yeah, and You look like you can, you've got a good right hook going on. <laughs> all right, okay. let's go in here. Since I don't know my way around. Well, we promised you a tour. Don't walk too Ooh. fast. Don't walk too fast. You'll be sitting up there with those ladies, OK? When you hear your name called, you'll stand up and walk around to whatever area calls your name. Isn't it funny? When you speak to the arresting officer and she was nowhere near her car. Nothing. It all happened in the house. And plus, what the gentleman was saying, he didn't say it was anything to do with domestic, and that's exactly what it was. Exactly. He was trying to lead us to believe that it was between him and Carlos. Sometimes I really think that they say it so many times that they believe it. Yep, absolutely. I've been a corrections officer for almost 10 years. I've worked most of my career in booking, which I like because it's very diverse. You see a huge variety of people every day. Things are changing constantly. And I enjoy living each day for the unexpected. Laser All right. Of vulgarities. You know what I'm here for, guys? I'm breaking the law. Obstruction. I believe that. Obstruction. Because obstruction, because I wouldn't open my Break door. Obstruction. Obstruction of justice, misdemeanor. Eight hours here, out, guess what, dismissed. You guys earning your money? Damn, good thing you got the drug dealers off the street. The murderers and the rapists and Oh man, obstruction, watch out man. This guy stepped off the curb wrong. Get him, get him, get him! He jaywalked, here we go, I jaywalked. Oh, I had a piece of gum on my shoe. Sorry about that, sir. Sorry about that. Right. Should I polish my shoes for you? Have you been here before? Yes! Okay. I mean, look at this. Hey, look, it's unlatched. Take it out of my wrist before it drills a hole. Stop. Look at this. Man, you guys are, you know what? Make sure you hold onto my wrist and keep breaking them. <laughs> Sorry about that. Quit Man, quit, quit twisting. On? I'm not twisting. You are. You twisted my wrist. Can you get that one? You guys are all wasting taxpayers' money. You got this. It's just a little inebriated. Oh, yeah, a little inebriated. My wrist is swollen up twice the size of my hand. You see this? Oh, for what? Obstructing? Mm-hmm. A minor mm -hmm. misdemeanor? Hmm? Come see the nurse. Oh, yeah, I'll Come. call my nurse. Look at this Come see the nerves. So what happened with that guy? He was a uh, domestic call at his house. Officers arrived, he hid in the closet, refused to talk to them, refused to lock himself in the closet like a little kid. And um, they finally got him out of the closet, and uh, he was arrested for obstructing. I'm transporting for him. I picked him up for the graveyard officers, and uh, on the way to jail, he just started talking, talking and getting tough for jail. Great. So it was a great ride here, huh? Yeah, it's great. Good okay. times. Good well, thank times. you. Thanks. Big obstruction of justice here. We need some assistance here. Anybody got back up? You, sir, in the orange sweater? Back him up, please. You're not going to affect my serene environment. Stay on the bench, buddy. We're going to get us a side cell here. 
let this guy away a little bit. He's uh, a little squirrely. Then you need to open him up when I say well, when open you your face. Okay. Put your chest on the wall. Look to your right. You don't understand we'll look, that. What's way to right? Here. There you go. Your right or my right? Good job. Now we're going to exit the cell. Once we exit the door closed, then you can move. Do not move before the door closes. You understand? Huh. Came in for an obstruction charge. He's extremely intoxicated, so he just needs some time to cool off. Why are you here? Why? Why? Don't they escape here, right, right now? Or yeah, what? here, right now. Yeah. Oh. Because this guy say he's standing because I try to make pee pee in one public place. You make pee pee in a public place? This guy say, but when I go to, I look in, hey, the police living, and they stop there. I don't do nothing. Then you stopped making your pee pee? Yeah. No, 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 I don't do nothing. They, they, I make like, I go to, you know, she's telling me like. Well, now you know you can't make pee pee in public. I, I try, but don't do nothing. You know, mm -hmm. in this place, it's it in the middle of the street. Okay. All right, spread your feet. Good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't touch too much. Okay. Don't, don't touch it, don't touch it. Yeah, Come on. Like <laughs> Be careful. All right. Maybe I like it. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, take this off. Wait, you going? Quickly. Oh, All of it. Come on, just start getting naked. Oh, God. Take all of it off. Hold the cloth? No, please. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, this thing. Yes. Go have a seat in the first row. Take a seat. Don't push me. Don't make me. How did you come in contact with Miguel today? We got a call where he was dancing inside the store, and when he left the store, he uh, was across the street with a cup. He threw it down, and when he saw my Mark Jr., he kind of like tried to hide from me. Went around to a power box um, and started to urinate in public as I pulled up and told him to come in front of my vehicle and end up arresting him for urinating in public and for littering. And he was cooperative? Yeah, he was, a, he was quite a character. Yeah, very entertaining. Thank you. OK, this is showing that you're here mm -hmm. for urinating in public mm -hmm. and for not I using it. I know. I tried. I know. But next time, you need, done it before. next time you need to use a restroom and a trash can, OK? You're going to sit out here. I understand. You're going to sit out here in the first three rows. Anywhere. Anywhere in the first three rows. Oh, exactly. Yes. Very lighthearted and a funny guy. It's a nice change every now and then to get somebody in jail that's not mad at the world and wants to treat everybody bad. He'll be all right. He'll be out of here within eight hours, I would, I would guess. I'm headed down to Z3 to check on a gentleman that came in before I got here today. I guess when he came in, he was pretty emotional, and they had to isolate him for a cool-down period. Jack? Understand that when you came in, you were pretty emotional this morning. Is that accurate? You seem like you calmed down. I'm going to try and get you through the process so we can work on getting you out of here. You're just here on uh, obstructing, correct? Yes. So you're going to qualify for a release. Step on out with me. We're going to go straight ahead to that front row of chairs. While you're out there, they're going to call your name to several workstations. When they do, if you would just get up and go to that location. OK? Thank you. It's amazing how time in the side cell can calm a person down. Yeah, he's, he's getting through the process. He's doing good now. It's good when they can have such a quick turnaround and get out of here and move on with life. I've been working at Clark County Detention Center for eight years. Down in booking, it's 12 long hours on your feet. It's very rewarding, though. You know, after a long, hard day, that you've accomplished something, that you've done a, hard, done a lot for your community, done a lot for yourself. So what are you here for? I have no idea. You have no idea what you're in here for? No, no, no. There's an accident. You were an accident? Were you driving? Yeah, but I have full coverage insurance. OK, that's good, you know. Yeah. Does anybody hurt? Hell no, it's a fender bender. A fender bender, oh. Are you driving or what? You were driving. Did you get the side of this No, I have not. Or did you guys just take all my clothes off? We don't want to take your That's clothes off. That's not what I want to do, okay? Ow. We're just okay, well, this, you're moving ride. around too much, so just stay Ow. still. Ow. Come on. Ow. All right. Sir. You're going to turn around here? Turn around right. roof. You're going to go all the way down there and see your medical stuff. Oh, so right down. Breast cancer said he had an accident, and then took off all his clothes, run around naked. 
He was out in the parking lot running around, pulling his clothes off. Okay. That's not the case. I okay, okay. took off my shirt to show her my tattoo. Okay, well, you she... gotta understand that if a woman was just in a car accident, the last thing she's gonna expect is a man to get out of her car, out of his car and start pulling his clothes off. They're running around the parking lot pulling his pants Dude, that's down. That's not I urinating. Even pulled my pants down. You make it sound like I just took off my pants in front of her my clothes and we're running around. So we're gonna go right over here to this room over here. We're gonna do a few tests, all right? Where's right the issue? We want you to walk in a straight line, heel to toe. Keep your hands on your sides. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Heel to toe, Simone, you're walking sidestepping. You're walking sideways as you're walking. Heel to toe. Are you having difficulty doing this? Is yeah, it I am. Originally, you were arrested for uh, hit and run involved okay. in a traffic accident. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Subsequently, you failed sobriety tests because you refused How to do those. Listen, Simone, test. I'm trying to explain it to you. You failed Can to do you... the test at the scene. You told the officers that you weren't No, do I never said that. I said okay. I would do them, and I said I'd take a breathalyzer. I never said well, that. We gave you the test, and you didn't do very well. Dude, I told you I haven't slept so, in two days. So what's going to happen is we're going we're gonna to go back out to the front. Okay. Okay? We're going to go back out and see the nurse, Simone, Sorry. and I'm going to direct her to draw blood from you. You do not have a right to refuse that. You do not have a right to speak to attorney before blood's obtained. Okay? I'm not doing anything anymore. Okay. okay. This, this is crazy. We'll go we'll get it come done on, real quick, on, and then on. you can get processed. Okay? Come on, come on. No, I'm not doing nothing. You guys wouldn't even let me get a chance. Once I started getting it going, that's when you guys got mad and made me stop because I was doing a right the second time. Come on, let's go. Crazy. This way. This is crazy. Let's sit on that blue chair right there, man. I told you I do breathalyzer. How is that not an option? You're either going to voluntarily comply or we're going to take it by reasonable force. So what do you want to do, man? Do you want to just give it to us or do you, what do no, you want to do? No, I'm not doing it. I didn't do anything wrong. Did he just say no, he's not going to give it to us? Right, okay. correct. Yeah, I didn't Can do we go? anything wrong. Yeah, Are you guys serious? Stand up, Simone. What's going on? Stand up. Stand up and do Come what? On. We're going to go get your Come blood. On. Come on, Simone. So instead of in this room, we're going to that room. I'm not fighting you. Fine, I'll do it in this room. I'll do it in this room. Come on, let's go. I'll do it in this room. Hey, I'm not fighting you. I'm not, you. Right I'm not dude, quit twisting you. I'm not fighting you. Resisting. Dude, uh, I'm not fighting you. Dude, you're twisting my arm. Dude, are you kidding me? What did I do? Ow. Let go of my neck, dude. So what's the full story on that guy? What happened out there? Two vehicle accident hit and run was dispatched. They went over to find out what happened, and the driver of the vehicle who caused the accident had ran from the scene. While they were there talking, a gentleman who came back appeared uh, distraught. Uh, the lady who was struck said he was ripping his clothes off in the middle of the road, like somebody on PCP or somebody high on another drug like cocaine. He's being charged with being under the influence, which is a felony in the state, and uh, hit and run with a DUI charge as a misdemeanor. And it seems like he's kind of passed out in the chair right now. Control 1093, we got one from booking on it. Get him upstairs, that way uh, medical staff can keep an eye on him. He's been up and down the whole time, so. Simon, so, mean, we're going to take you up here, let you cool down a little bit, OK? A little bit more, maybe if you'll be able to come out of that chair, OK? Once we have him evaluated by medical staff, he'll probably be out of the chair in about an hour. Probably. It seems like he's coming out of it already, so maybe in a little bit more, it'll be yeah. all right. got a notification that uh, Simone's going to be getting released from our jail and going over to the city due to the uh, crimes that he allegedly committed were in the jurisdiction of the city. When you first came in, you were like passed out. You were mouth open, out. So once in a while, we had to use ammonia to wake you back up. Do you remember that? No, nothing at all. You ever been like that before? Were you almost passed out? Don't remember everything? Yeah. Yeah. Just bit. from drinking, you know, stuff uh, like that, partying. I've been up for like days. Days? Do you take medication to keep you up? Uh, no, I've just been up like, gambling a lot. Doing what? Gambling and I was drinking a little bit. I wouldn't okay. say I was like, I wasn't drunk when you mm -hmm. guys took me in. I don't think. You were just tired. Because you passed out. You were out. Then we took you up, Sarah. You were upset, but you seemed a little bit calmer after I got you those phone calls. So 
Yeah, then I was cool. You gotta yeah. stay out of these situations that you got yourself into, so you gotta yeah. avoid all that, all that. Not even be in that area of being close to doing what this is charging you with, okay? All right. So, so what are the charges though, exactly? Uh, they had you under the influence to UI drugs, hit and run, and failure to rent aid. And one of those is a felony? Yes. Okay. Okay? All right, thanks. All right, man. Take it easy. All right. He's a totally different person, so hopefully he'll go to the city, he'll be able to take care of his charges and get out of jail. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops is me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. As corrections officers, we receive a lot of training in self-defense and how to abate dangerous situations. And a lot of these dangerous situations occur at the drop of a hat, and uh, we must react quickly and contain the situation. And that's actually one of the fun parts of the job. Uh, it's something that you really can't get anywhere else, and uh, that's why I enjoy it so much. Man, I've been here. You're going to sit here a little longer. Have a seat. Yeah. Sit down. Going with the program, sir. Sit down. Yeah. This is perfect. I'm already sitting down. You don't come right. push me. You, sir. What's your name? Nah, I'm man. I've been waiting for too long, stand man. Yeah. Stand up. Over a stand picture. Up. Stand up, sir. And hey, y'all got me up. Yeah. Tasing me for no reason. No, I ain't resisting. I got cuffs on. Yes. Mother yeah, yeah, grab the chair. Walking. Grab the chair. Hello, how's everybody going? Yeah, like, nothing. Have a seat. Come on, man. I've been tightened for no reason. Nothing but disrespect. I'm not resisting. Why y'all keep saying that? I'm in cuffs. How am I resisting? Okay, all restraints for Titans. Mm -hmm. How are you received? It's probably going to be terminated. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and debrief in the sergeant's office, please. Okay, officers, who had first contact with him? Uh, I did. Okay. Um, I brought him in for a picture. He refused to uh, hold his head up straight, so I just made him go sit back down. Did he do any striking or anything, or was he just uh, frustrated? No striking, just yelling. He just okay. jumped up and yelled. He, re he was refusing to sit down, wouldn't follow verbal, verbal orders given to him. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I ain't resisting. Okay, yeah. listen to me. The officers are going to give you specific instructions. Don't fight us. I ain't. All right. Does it look like I'm fighting you? Well, yeah. If I'm fighting you, you'd be laying on the ground dead. Huh? Sit up. Sit up. On three, we're standing you up. One, One two, three. Stand up. Put him towards you. Hey, loosen this cuff. It's cutting into my wrist. I ain't doing nothing, obviously. Cut loosen this damn thing. Hey, f you. You know that? We'll meet sometime. Pump. Park down here in the corner. You got, a, you got the wrong person, I'm telling you. I'm a truck driver, dude. Sit back. I'll come back and talk to you. Charges, burglary, obtaining money under a false pretense, non-sufficient funds with checks and grand larceny. Okay, can you go ahead and go over what happened? Uh, as soon as I showed the inmate his charges, he was pissed off that uh, he's not supposed to be here. He pulled his hand away from me, don't touch me, and then it looked like he was going to swing toward me. So I tried to secure his hand, and he started pulling, and, now he, and then he started fighting. So we had uh, other officers came to help. We had to take him to the ground, and he was still combative. You will be looking at uh, possible felony battery by prisoner charges. So if uh, he did strike the officer in the face, Scott, you understand that you cannot get out of control and make moves on anybody. Apparently, one of the officers has damage to his uniform. The well, that was his own doing, man. It wasn't me. Okay. He did that with his friends trying to freaking throw me down. I wasn't trying to get thrown down. I thought it was, was self-defense. I thought he was coming at me, man. It was well, just a... 
Oh, that, natural reaction. Okay. Natural reaction. Yes. People sometimes just go off. Human, just... human natural reaction. Okay. Let's go and stand up. All right, stay facing the wall. You're going to listen to my instructions real close, all right? Do a quick search on the uh, suspect, he does have a potential for violence. Uh, he was determined to be homicidal by our team downstairs, so he'll be segregated until our staff determines that he's stable to return to general population. Listen to me, all right? The officers are going to give you specific commands. You must follow those commands, okay? If you do not follow those commands, force will be used against you. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yes? That was a yes. Okay. Yeah. Up to and including the electronic control device, the Taser brand. Do you understand that? Oh, brand. They tasered me before I got well, here. Well, no, no, I'm giving you the warning. Oh, All dude, right. please, right, not, so, not the Taser. All right. You comply with no problem, okay? Man, I, anything, right, man. Anything but that, all right? Yeah, all right, so listen to the officers. Right. They're going to give you specific instructions, okay, Mark? Yeah. All right. Booking process on him. All right, Mark. Out here in the day room. All right, you're gonna have a seat. All right, just be calm. If you need anything, raise your hand. The officers will address. Go take a seat on the left side. Don't talk to the ladies. It'll get you in trouble every time. Oh, I can't talk to the. No, can't talk to the ladies. Have a seat. Pretend they're not there. Too soon. <laughs> I've been with Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about three months on the job here in the jail. My first official post was down here in booking. We were warned in the academy it was one of the most difficult posts. The people come in right off the street at their highest, whether it be on drugs or alcohol or just an emotional state, excited delirium. These are all very dangerous states. But the minute I heard that, I had to go for it. So I requested booking right off the bat. Didn't matter what platoon, what hours, I just wanted booking. I don't regret it at all. I know I've been assaulted, but um, no, what happened? This man assaulted me. I need to press charges on him. I swear to God, this man assaulted me, but it's okay because he has that punk ass badge. Hey, man. I'm sorry, miss. Punk ass badge. No, oh, spread him. your feet for me. His badge. Spread your feet. Yeah, what are you brought in for? Prostitution. I was trying to pay for my room because I'm sick. I was trying to go to sleep, and he came up to me and offered me a ride. As soon as you get seen by medical, you can go to the restroom, okay? All right, listen up. The second row, all the way to the end, wait for medical to call you up, okay? She was trying to have money to pay for her room. She admits she tried to prostitute herself. She was trying to make a buck, but she chose the wrong John, who's a probably undercover cop. Head up straight, look at the camera, please. Can you put your head straight for me, please? All right, go back out, have a seat where you were. How long have you lived here? Since I was five. You have no family here? <laughs> I grew up in a foster home. And last time I was in here, my caseworker for my CPS case tried to get me in a shelter. They didn't have no room for me. I want to get a job. I don't want to live like this. How many times have you been arrested? I've been arrested. I can't count. I was a bad kid when I was in foster homes because I wanted just to go home. I just want to be normal. I've been arrested. I've been I've been locked up more than half of my life. And really what I need is help, but I just keep getting locked up. I don't do drugs, I don't steal, I don't cheat, I don't lie. I just need help. There's uh, the chaplain here, Bonnie. And if she can't come down and help you, they can probably get you some information. I can't believe that there's absolutely nowhere for you to go. You get out. <laughs> I really hope there's a place for me to go and I will go to it. I'll go look into it for you and see what we can get. I would you, okay? appreciate it. <laughs> Ma'am, come on in. 
face the wall for me and spread your feet. Do girls look better? If we can finish your room uh, in five minutes, I can take you. Five minutes I'm going to have to dress Oh, up. yeah, yeah. So you can't have the same attire as our medical staff be in the same building. So we'll go ahead and get you started. Who are you arrested for? Burglary. Murder. So you've probably been on the news, huh? Are you okay? Hang in there. This killed my husband. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go dress her out. Come on, go to Just gotta take the scrubs off of her. So what's this lady's story? She's being booked for murder. She shot her husband early this morning. It's probably on the news. I figured I probably missed something. Right. All right, thanks. Here's a copy of the charges. All right, go ahead and have a seat up front. They're booking her in for first degree murder, so I don't know. First degree murder, that's going to carry a pretty hefty sentence. I could, a lot of time in prison. She's, um, she's basically been a foster child her whole entire life. She has no family here. She's been here all her life, but in foster care. Mm -hmm. um, she's been trying to get her life back on track to get her just three kids. Laura, you, you know who Bonnie is, right? Hi, Laura. She's been in here before. Yeah, I think I met you before, yeah. haven't I? Yeah, you have. Officer Paulson said that uh, you were uh, ready to really do something. And, and um, I have a, uh, a friend. Her name's Annie. And she comes into the jail, as a matter of fact, with this worship service. But she also is a, uh, she at one time was a, was a prostitute and, and uh, then turned her life around. And now she has an organization, and it's called Hookers for Jesus. And uh, she even has a house where she uh, puts people up, has let some live there. Oh, that's not, yeah, that's cool. And uh, so that sounds like it might just be right what we would need to, we could just tap into that. Your life, your life can be different if you're really ready to do that. You know, it, it's really up to you. And if you really, 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 really are ready. It's not about me being ready. It's been me trying to reach out for help and trying to find help. But well, I, I think we found it. Yeah. One step at a time, OK? OK. All right. Okay. Thank you. Good. All right, Laura, if you can do me a favor, go ahead and have a seat up at the first couple of rows, OK? God bless you, Laura. Thank you. She seems like she really wants help. She seems like she wants to start a new beginning. She's got three kids to take care of. So hopefully she can start her life over again, get her three children back so they don't grow up in foster homes just as she did. Last night there was definitely a theme for the ladies, just female after female, and all of them very combative. Tonight, hopefully, I'll get a break as far as the females go, but it's not going to be any fun. Every time it seems like I'm going to sit down, I have somebody coming through the door. You just roll with it, and the night will go by fast. OK, so do you want your people to watch me have a seizure? She's pissed because she's hungry. Ma'am, did you tell Sarge about what we talked about? Yes, I did. You expressed that? You said yes. that you haven't ate since early this morning? That's right. And then you just came to jail now, but you know if you have seizures that you should eat, but you chose not to eat because you chose to drink instead. That's right. There we go. So I just don't see how it's our fault. I didn't say it's your fault. No, you did. You just said we're going to let you have a seizure. You're no, gonna you're going to let yourself. You chose alcohol over food. Not very good prioritizing, I'm just saying. OK, so now that I'm here and now that you've arrested me. So it's our problem now. Me. Yes, I see that. Yes, I didn't arrest you, your but OK. <laughs> Shh, you guys aren't helping. Oh, well, why should they help? Why should they help you when they've been sitting here since one, two o'clock? Calm down afternoon. and conserve your energy, ma'am. When you get over to see medical, they will give you food. My blood level is at an 8. It's supposed to be at 11. I just got out of the hospital. You just told yesterday. us all that. Sarge just told you the answer. What, what are you going to argue with? 
you will get food from medical staff if they deem that necessary. Okay, how long is it going to take for me to see medical? Probably an hour, hour and a half. An hour, hour and a half. It usually doesn't take that long. So relax and conserve your energy. When I kill over and I have a seizure, so you're a f head. You will hold yourself personally responsible. You heard that right. Okay, listen. Okay, I'm getting tired of it. The sergeant says he would help you out. So what more cute. do you want? What more do you want? You're so cute. Okay, let me tell you what. Are you suicidal? No. Okay, no. now here's your choices. You can either go to the next room and be seen by medical and get crackers, or I will take you to a side cell based on your behavior and you will not get anything. It's a choice. You've got to behave while you're out here, just like everybody else. Cute. Thank you. Stand up. Stand up. This is me helping you stand up. Walk. There you go. It was a bad decision, ma'am. Very bad decision. Why? Because you're cute. Oh, I appreciate the flattery, but I don't swing that way. I said she was cute, and she is like man. -handling. You're disrupting no one is my area. You are manhandling. Oh, you would like that too much. Spread your feet. You don't like this part of No, I don't. Come on. Put your knees up on the bench. Knees on the bench. There you go. Come on. You're not getting our phone numbers, though. You're still cute. Oh, thank you, honey. See how that goes? Now, where's my rings? So she comes in, she's demanding, saying that she's hungry and she's going to have seizures. Mm -hmm. And I asked her when the last time she ate, and she said it was early this morning. I go, what have you done since from then until now? She goes, well, I've been drinking. So I'm like, okay, well, where's the accountability? You have seizures, but you're gonna drink instead of trying to eat. So that's what she's been upset about, is because we won't give her any food. I'm not gay, but you're so cute. Ma'am, you're gonna be in here for a little bit until you can calm down. So I'll check on you in a couple hours, and I hope you're doing better. Officer, officer, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I'm Canadian and I'm gonna sue everybody in Las Vegas. That's fine. So you know. I'm just trying to get you off these cuffs, alright? I'm trying to go back to Vancouver. Okay, back to Canada, the land of the free. And f everybody who's in America. So I want to talk to the Canadian Embassy right now. I know my rights. Right. Yeah. No, I want to talk to the embassy. I'm sensing a theme. A lot of females and a lot of drama with them. I want to talk to the Canadian embassy. Ma okay. No, ma'am, I want to talk to the okay. Canadian embassy. I know my rights. I'm not stupid. I know my rights. Well, you're acting really stupid right now. You don't have that right. I want to go home. You have any medical problems? Taking any medicine for anything? No. Okay. The Canadian Embassy right okay. now. Goodbye. Come on. Okay. Have a seat in the back row. Yes, you want to tell me what happened? She's been charged with violating airport rules. I guess the airline lost a piece of her luggage. So she was in the baggage claim office trying to work things out. And she just went off on them. She started cussing, screaming, and giving them a hard time. I tried to give her a chance to walk away. She, she wouldn't take it. So. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ma'am? I want every badge number that with me tonight okay because i know my rights give me a reason why i'm in handcuffs because you know what i know my rights i have done nothing wrong here. can i ask you something talk to me please you'll answer ask me okay have you been drinking yes i drank on the plane but i'm trying to understand Be why i'm in handcuffs because right now why I'm you here. listen you don't listen you don't listen you don't listen, and I'm just guessing here that maybe alcohol has made you a little bit more emotional, and you didn't listen to the people that stopped you, and that's how come you're here. Okay, ma'am, I want to get my handcuffs off. I want to go back to Canada, the land of the free, because you know what? America is not the land of the free. Let's just leave it alone, because you just get more upset the more you think about it, and that's not helping you out here at all. Good luck to you, ma'am. That's just an example of people coming to Vegas and not able to control their, their alcohol intake. But you can't tell them differently, not until they sober up and realize.
It's been a little bit since I've talked to the inmate we took back to the side cell, so we're gonna go back, see how she's doing. What did you do out there to get you in here? I'm just lying in my bed. I'm sorry. I know, I know. You, but you're trying to be funny in front of all the other inmates. Why are you here? I just want my daughter. Okay, so you got into a domestic with your daughter? What was happening? I was drinking and she wanted me to stop. How old is she? 22. You feel bad, don't you? Yeah. I can tell. You're an alcoholic, ma'am? Do you see a pattern here? People are trying to help you and you don't see it. I had four years. Okay, well, I hope you're doing better. I'll be back. Things are looking better for her. Maybe we can get her out and get her processed. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I grew up here in uh, South Texas, here in the Valley, uh, Dallas County. Uh, I grew up seeing lots of crazy things, especially, you know, with the border being right next door. A lot of things that we really wouldn't see upstate. We got a female coming in. Deputy says that she's pretty rowdy inside the vehicle, kicking out the windows. So you just don't know what to expect. We'll see what happens. Because you want me to get naked. Ma'am, go ahead. Come on, come on. Go switch on Google. Can you get somebody to help me, Mr. Your Honor? They're cooking. They're cooking. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I can't go nowhere. Relax. Relax. Mr. Rivera, I cannot go nowhere. Mr. Rivera, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. I am cooperating to the fullest. Okay. Turn around. Put your hands up on the wall. Yes. 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 Let me check real quick. Yes. Okay. No. 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 Face. Yes. No. Move forward. Face the wall. Spread your legs. Okay. Let's see. Turn around. Face me. I am. Turn. Turn around. Face me. Grab your bra. Push it forward. I mean, face. Okay. Stand up straight. What's your name? I I refuse to talk to you. Do you? Yes, I okay. do. Are you going to provide a sample of your breath, ma'am, and then talk to us? I will talk to Mr. Guerra. OK, ma'am. Let's go all the way straight over there. Hi, everybody. How you doing? OK, female only one? Yes, sir. Female you know one. Thank you very much. How are you doing? You want me to put those on? Um, you're so nice, huh? Lady, you need to put it on, ma'am, please. Can you put on over here? You sure? No. Why? They married? You married? No. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's good. Yeah, I'm going to ask one more time. Are you willing to participate in standardized field sobriety testing? Not tonight. Okay. Till I see the judge. You have a good evening, sir. May God bless you more than me. We're going to do questions. Abundantly. Okay, if you know all these two. I'm the bad person. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. You want to secure? You know why they brought your young brother in? What's going on? I was patrolling. Mm -hmm. I saw a vehicle pulling up at a great amount of speed. She saw my lights, and she just threw herself into the ditch in the, with the vehicle. I made contact with her. Mm -hmm. I noticed she had a six-year-old son in there. I asked her if she had anything to drink. She said, not enough. <laughs> OK. OK. So I began to talk to her, right? And she gets to become aggressive using vulgarities and racial slurs. I ended up having to put cuffs on her. While she was in my unit, she slipped out of my handcuffs and started banging on the window with the unit. So, so she was already getting aggressive on the wheel? She was highly aggressive. What I'm charging her is a DWI felony. Child endangerment? Child endangerment. There was no talking any sense into her. Hey, Lizette, come here. Let me ask you some questions yes, real quick. Sir. You always ask me a lot of questions. OK, what's your name? You already went through my stuff, Mr. Delagarza. You have my baggage. Okay. You have my son. 
Okay, let's start off again. What have you taken today? Is it just liquor or beer? Or pills? Beer. What kind of beer? Rosa Michelada. Oh, okay. okay, concentrate right here, ma'am. How much have you had? Not enough. Not to enough? Go with you. Okay. Thank you very much. Are you done? You're so admirable. Are you done? Were you operating a motor vehicle on a public road? Well, technically yes, and technically no, until you got there. Okay. That's fine. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice night. You too. You have a good one, De La Garza. So, what exactly happened? I was just driving. I okay. was checking my phone. Who was with you back. when you were driving? My son was asleep in the vehicle. We had gone to go see vehicles, and then on the way back, I had a small minor race. I won. We... What happened after that? I decided to take the long route home so I could be able to text. And I never made it because I got stopped and pulled over by Mr. De La Rosa. Mr. De La Rosa, yes, he did his job, but at the same time, he gave me a hard time. When had you started drinking? Earlier. 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 How much did you drink? Maybe like two 24 ounces at one spot, you know? And do you regret what happened? You know, drinking, driving, having your son there? I regret bumping into him. That's the only regret I have. Yeah, somebody that has no heart, no remorse. Okay. And me being the wrong skin color because I'm a lot lighter than he is. Yeah. You just got to stay calm. I still got to fingerprint you. I got to do your A fix. I got to do all this stuff. I got to book you in. I just want to make sure you're OK. My son's in CPS. You're asking me if I'm OK. I want to be OK. I cannot feel like I'm OK because I really don't know where my son is at. Let it's me go get the number for you so I can get you out right now, and that way you can make the phone call, OK? okay? And then we'll start A fixing you and get the process started, OK? Yeah. Lizette ultimately will be facing state jail felony charges for driving while intoxicated with a child under 15 years of age. Now it's in the court's hands. detention officer with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office for three and a half years now. I was born and raised here in El Paso, Texas. I went to high school here. I went to UTEP, University of Texas at El Paso. I'm also a booking officer. This is what I like to do. Law enforcement is my thing, and I appreciate this job very much. Did you see your socks? Put your hands on the wall. Spread your legs. Come on. Do you have anything else in your pockets? No. Any drugs or weapons? No. Are these steel toe? No. Just put on your socks and shoes, man. And stand on the red light. Put your hands behind your back. Let me see your tattoos. What's that Jetsons for? You like that cartoon character? No, nah, it's about music. Okay. You're not gang related or nothing like that? I mean, I'm not. I don't. I just got out of prison, honestly. Oh, yeah? yeah. How much time did you do? A year and a half. For one or two. For burglaries. Burglaries? Where were you at? Amarillo. Amarillo? Yeah. What'd you try and steal? I uh, was some stuff from my girl. Oh, yeah? Why, for Valentine's or what? No, I got her some. As a reason I was getting it, it was because I spent all my money on her. Yeah. Oh, man. Dope ass <laughs> ring, bro. Oh. Spent all my money on her. It was all good, and then we got in a fight last night. So you're going to call her right now to bail you out? <laughs> no? Yeah. Hopefully. All right, you're all set. Come with us over here. Yeah, take your picture. Here, take your picture. Are right, you good? I don't know. It's just I see all that stuff and everything that you're telling me that you've been in prison, and it's like I don't think you're. You don't seem like a real bad guy, you know. I definitely I think, never I think, thought that I would be in prison. You could fix your act for sure. What made you steal these shoes that you stole? I had gone to the store just to get my watch fitted. Like, I had just bought a new watch. And I, I talked something. to the watch lady, and she was like, she was charging way too much just to take out some links. And I knew a place that would do it for cheaper, so I was like, all right, I appreciate you. And on my way out, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't even know why I did it. It's kind of odd, no, that you just saw something and, like, took off with it. Oh, no, there was just like no one in there. I was just right there and I just. We don't get caught, kind of deal? Yeah, I 
just come on over that. here to this red line over there. You see that? So before you got ink on your face, like what made you want to ink your face? Because I think you took it up a level there when you did that, no? I see it was just like, it didn't really like hit me until I like got into the free world and like. And with your girlfriend, with stuff she was telling you? Yeah, well, it's not just her, it's just like, I'll be standing outside of a restaurant in the smoking area smoking. Yeah, everybody's looking at you. And now, nah, like, people will come out of the restaurant leaving, and they'll like, they'll walk like around, they'll walk into the street around cars, and then come back, just walk around me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I didn't realize how, like, how people would, like, really trip on me. It's gotta be you know another know I mean? feeling, yeah. Just like going through the mall, literally, my friends are like, fool. How do you feel, Doug? Because we feel bad for you. Like, we walk through the mall with you. Literally, everybody that walks past you is just like, like everywhere. Like, people trip. Yeah, I didn't really think about how it was going to affect my mom or anything. Why? What did she tell you or what? My mom's a cop. She was a homicide detective for like 10 years. She works on the Ted Bundy case. You know Ted Bundy? Yeah. My mom, like, interviewed him when he was on death row. Wow. In Florida. But, um... I'm surprised you didn't file some applications to, like, law enforcement. It just wasn't for me, you know what I mean? I don't know. If everybody makes mistakes, you just have to actually start thinking about what you do. Like, when you say you wanted to grab those shoes, you should have been like, nah, that's not worth it. Uh, you know? You seem like a smart guy, so just keep trying, take it slow. For some reason, I take the long way around. <laughs> Every time. You like the long, long way, way, huh? Way around. <laughs> You'll be all right. You're still young. You can make a lot of changes. He's not going to go anywhere because he has no, no bond. Hopefully, he makes the right choice. Hopefully, he decides to make the change and stop stealing shoes. I work here in Jefferson County Jail in Southeast Texas. Here we're known for the first oil boom, uh, the spindle top area in Beaumont, Texas in 1901. It's called the Golden Triangle area. I like living in this area because it's a small community. It feels more complete to me. Jefferson County Jail. And you're gonna take me away from my house and leave it unlocked? With my animal and everything else there? I've had warrants, sir, from traffic. Wah, wah, wah. I've had warrants for like three weeks. Why you ain't got me in? The total is $533.50. And what? OK. Just wanting to let you know. And what? A few days? Five days. So wait. Come on, man. So wait. Go lock my house up. Go lock my house up. Ho, ho. <laughs> Cracker Jack. Ma'am, do you have anything on you that'll poke a stick me? Do you want to see if I got something that'll poke a stick you? What's your last do name? Do I look like I got pockets? Ma'am, what's your last name? Ask him. He brought me here. All right, Sarge. What's the matter? Poke and stick. Come on. You ready? I pissed off because the man took me from my house. OK, so you can get on your pissed and, off. And Come I have my dog. And my house is unlocked. Come on, man. And he ain't unlocked my house. All right, ma'am. That has nothing to do with us. What you gonna do? We ain't gonna do you nothing but change your clothes. Hell yeah. OK. I'm down. All right, you gonna be down in a minute. I sure so am. Because I'm gonna help you. I'm good. That's what I want you to do, to help me. Nobody's trying to hurt you. We just need you to help us. You, you got to calm down it's when you come in here. Come on. She was a peach Hancock. Why did I you know, bring her here? I know. She was quite entertaining on the way down here. What is she charged with? Um, she's got a couple of Class C warrants. Uh, tickets that she received, she didn't take care of. Are you trying? Uh, total on it is $533. Uh, I got called to an assault, and she, the whole time I was there, she was the problem. <laughs> so I run her name. Of course, she's intoxicated, so I run her name, and she's got warrants. So hooked her up, and the problem kind of went away. OK, she'll be out in a couple of days. Seven's open. Oh, and that's my lucky number, too. Hope it brings, hope it brings you luck. All right, just sit in there, calm down, and we'll put Thank you on the phone. You. All right. Oh, hey, get down from there and button that jumper. Don't expose yourself again. You're going to make me restrain you. I saw what you were trying to do to this guy. Don't do it. I don't care if you know him. Don't do it. Hey, 
you know this lady? Uh, if you interact with her, then I'm going to have to deal with you, OK? Go down there. Go down there to that cell. Put him up. I'm here for some warrant. Couple days worth. Since you left my house open. Shirley doesn't seem to be cooperating too well. Ma'am, step to the back of the cell. Step to the back of the cell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want y'all to fall. You come to me. That's slippery. All right, turn Do I around. Need you what? No, I need you to turn around. Put your hands up here. You gonna be rough with me, ma'am? Nobody's gonna be rough with you. Huh? You gonna be rough? Put 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 a leg irons on first. That's for your own safety, ma'am. For what? That kind of is turning me on. Oh. I like it. I like it. Can I do it? Come on, baby. Mm. All right, let's go. That's hot. Oh, Why you say that? I've been called that all my life. But I'll be out here in a few days and I have my own house. But you shouldn't think that about yourself. Everybody else, too. I might go home and I might not have no animals left. I'm a dumbass white bitch and they got to do it for a few days. Shirley was hacking up too bad in bookend, throwing a tray and exposing herself. And she's gonna spend the rest of her time in Max. Oh, it'd be better for her safety. Okay, Miss Shirley, when you came in a little bit earlier, you pretty upset. You done a little bit better now? Yes, ma'am. Why do you feel that everybody calls you stupid? That's what not you were. That I'm not stupid. I don't think you are. That's what I don't I... think I am either. That's what I was trying to tell you. I don't think that. I think that Beaumont Police Department could do a lot of better of a job when they out there on the street. Okay, but we appreciate your cooperation. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. Bye bye. She just upset with the police. She did appear to be intoxicated when she came in. So sometimes it's hard to get them to calm down a little bit. Here at Jefferson County, I'm a corrections officer, but I'm also an FTO, which is a field training officer. And it's my responsibility to make sure that these young officers learn the procedure in the jail. Today, we're in bookend and we're performing pat-down procedures. What they got you on, P.I.? Yeah. You got drunk on gin and juice. Gin, gin and juice? <laughs> you know better than to come in here. Yeah, man. Stay at home if you go drink. All right. Can't be a copy. I would stay home, but I'm homeless. What, you're homeless? What you mean you're homeless? You don't have any homeless house. for a while, man. You don't have family or anything like that? I that do, but, man, they don't, they don't want to have nothing to do with me. So. I mean, you need to make it right with them folks so you could go home. All right, I'm gonna change back. I'm gonna get you changed up. He came in on a public intoxication charge, and he'll be spending probably 24 hours, maybe a little bit more. Hey, Eric, you think you're going to Max? Uh, yeah. Why? Because I, I, I've got uh, my co defendants back there. You got co defendants in here? Because I still saw him. Protective him. custody? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to be around him. He, he beat yeah. up a guy real bad. And, uh -huh. Almost killed him, so mm -hmm. I want to stay away from him. Well, you want to stay away from this jail. Yeah. Hey, did you bring in Eric? Yeah, public intoxication. And where'd you find him? He was at Burger King, sitting in a locked stall, sleeping. I think it's like the third time we dealt with him today. Yeah, today? Yeah, the officer, the last officer took him somewhere so he can sleep it off, but mm -hmm. uh, he went straight back out. He's a pretty good guy when he comes in here, but he's got other guys in here that he has to watch out for. Oh, yeah. I and I told him, I said, this is not the place for you to be if you're trying to keep away from those guys. Yeah. Okay, thanks, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. No problem. How many times you been in your PI? Shoot. I can't even count how many times. Eric, the officer said they picked you up earlier yeah. and let you sleep it off. Yeah, I was, I was drunk, man. They found me in the bathroom. He was going to take me to jail, and then he was like, look, I'm not going to take you to jail. He's like, where can I drop you off at? I told him. 
he dropped me off, and then not even an hour later, I went right back to jail. You feel like you have an alcohol problem? Oh, yeah. I, I got out on that charge that I was in here on, and then I went to my dad's house, stayed there for a little while. Me and him got into an alter, altercation. He was like, look, you got to go. You need to make things right with your dad. I told yeah. you with your family. Yeah. He was the one helping me out while I was in here, giving me commissary money and mm -hmm. put money on the phone and stuff like that. And I get out, and then I just, just went downhill after that. All right, Eric. You're good to go. Okay. Go over and try and work, uh, try and get yourself some help, man. All right, man. Good luck to you. All right, Eric. You got a public intoxication charge out of Beaumont. Your bond is going to be $150. Right. You need to call anybody? Yeah. All right. Okay. We'll get you on the phone as soon as they get off. OK. Have you encountered Eric before? Yeah, he's been here a couple of times before. It look like he's having a bad time now. I hope he can go over there. Find it in his uh, grace to be able to make up with his father. Yeah. If there's one place that you do turn to, is you got to turn to your family. What, uh, what were you arrested for tonight? No, I got arrested for stealing a. Uh, they're like monitors, like TV, little TV things. For what monitoring a? It's you, like a. a <clears throat> I don't know. They kind of look security like security camera. It's kind of something like that. No. A, Do you have any priors no. for that? No, no, no. It's my first time. You've never been in our jail before. Never been in your jail. Before. Are you local? No, I'm from you Kansas. Oh, well, you're a long way from home. Hutchinson, Kansas. What are you doing out here? Um, I came to visit my kids. And uh, I got stuck out here for gambling. You lost all your money gambling? Yeah. Is that why you were stealing? <laughs> Pretty much. So you're going to buy it, sell it, to get Pretty enough money to, just to make your way back? Just to get back. Yeah. But I'll be leaving, so... Chances are on the charge you have, uh, you may not be able to get uh, an OR. Really? Yeah, for a burglary, it's, that'd be a felony. Well... I don't think you're being cited. I think I don't think you're getting cited. You're getting uh, you're being booked for that's a felony. It's only two hundred eighty nine dollars. They showed me that. Did he? Did he? Did the arresting officer book you for burglary or petty larceny? Burglary. Burglary. That's a felony. So if you don't if you don't have the money to post bail, then you're looking at being in here over the weekend until you go to court. I don't even know why. And it's just something that was really dumb. So, yeah, you learn a hard lesson, pay the price, and don't do it again. I will never do it again. Never. Ever again. I have a feeling mean? you're not in Kansas anymore. All right, Mr. Simpson's on the way. Okay, uh, O.J. Simpson's will be here in just a few minutes. A couple of officers waiting out front to escort him in once he arrives. Uh, they're going to bring him into the front lobby just like a uh, normal bond surrender, no, no special treatment. And we're going to get him out of the way of the public and get him processed. Okay, apparently he's arrived. Um, here it is, 6.50, so media's all out there. All right, Sergeant Gettler, here he comes. Okay, so we're just going to process him like a regular bill. Basically, we're going to walk him in, put him in belly chains, and then uh, continue with the process from that point on. Make sure you pat him down here, too. Right up there, Mr. Simpson. Mm. Straight to the right here, to the right. All right, go ahead and face this counter right here. Spread your feet for me. Okay, right now we're just gonna process you like a regular bell bond okay. surrender. All right, we're gonna take All you right. out to the front. Have my glasses? Yes, you need to be able to keep your glasses. All right, we're gonna take your cuffs off. When the cuffs come off, put your hands on your head for me. On your head, your head. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? They expect to be back here, so, so. <laughs> hey, uh, I just talked to him. He said you understand that uh, we are going to remand you back into custody. Yeah. Okay. Why? Right, go straight this way and start the process. <sighs> so how is everything going besides the obvious? Oh, good. And my dog just had, you know, seven puppies. Actually, nine, but I think seven lived and just two days ago, so. For the first time in like a month, I found my golf swing, so I couldn't wait to get out there tomorrow. So. It was a good day. 
Did you get the same attention last time? Yeah. Attention I don't need. All right. Come this way and let medical talk to him. Sorry. We're trying to get Mr. Simpson through the process as soon as possible because of his high profile. We're going to get him medically screened, make sure he's OK, you know, give him some questions. So if he's any medication that he needs, we can uh, make sure that he receives that. Paperwork's all completed, Perfect. and uh, we're all good to go as far as everything else. Picture? Yes. So that should be all set to do that now? Yes. Okay. This is the completion of his booking process. We now have him in the system. His bond surrender has been completed. He's uh, technically back in custody. Each time an inmate comes in, they have a photo taken of him, so we get their current up-to-date photo. This was his photo the last time he was here. That photo will match up for each incarceration along with the date from which they were incarcerated. Yeah, right now we're getting him uh, dressed out. I was just taking a look over his charges. He wasn't doing what he was supposed to, so they brought him back. We're just waiting for him to come out, then I'm going to give him his copy. Yeah, so okay, uh, Mr. Simpson, here's a copy of the charges right there. Okay. Okay. What are my charges this time? I can't see. It's basically the same charges yeah. you were originally arrested on. Okay. So, yeah. nothing new? Nothing new. Overall, how are you feeling? Yeah. Yeah. I was feeling great today. I had a poker game that night at my house. I was hosting. <laughs> And the day I finally found my golf swing, it was a good day. <laughs> Until you got the knock on the door. I huh? think they must have known I was having a good time. It's not too I'm back. back. OK, which room do we have? 32 upstairs. Okay. What's the significance of uh, 32? <laughs> oh, 32. You playing that, Brandon? 32. Oh, he's a cowboy man, man, anyway. Watch your step. Okay, Mr. Simpson. If you need anything, just let us know, okay? Right now, I'm hoping to get something to read. Unfortunately, when a guy came to my house, he didn't give me time. Well, he was nice. He was really nice. And we took a ride. He said, hey, I got to take you to Vegas. I said, not to Vegas. <laughs> not to Vegas. I used to love coming to Vegas now. <laughs> I always feel that the truth uh, will set you free. I've always believed in the jury system. I tell you one thing, though. This, the people, this is... Unfortunately, my second visit here, uh -huh. and everybody was courteous, and everybody was very, very professional. And uh, now you appreciate it when you're in a vulnerable place like this, where you have no say, and uh, you know your life is kind of in disarray. Um, it's nice to have people that are, to some degree, courteous yeah. and at least professional. You know, and I, 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 I thoroughly appreciate it. That's good. Yeah, just, you know, it's not our job to judge you no. or anything. It's our job to make no. your stay no. as easy as possible. You yeah. know what I mean? And get you yeah. through the process. Action adventure. All right. Thank Stay strong. Strong. Okay, thank you. God bless. Stay in strong, okay. guys. Okay, Mr. Simpson. God bless. Take care. All right, apparently he's going to be with us for possibly a week or so. so Until he goes to trial. Him. From what I understand, he's got a court case coming up Wednesday. Okay. Isn't it ironic that 32 is the number and they put him in room 32? That is. What's the but, chances uh, of that? Oh, probably slim to none. But they got him in there, though. So apparently 32 isn't his lucky number anymore, huh? This Tulsa County Jail, we house everything from public intoxes, people jaywalking, to uh, murderers, rapists. I'm a booking officer. I'm one of the first guys to deal with prisoners once they get booked into the jail. So Noah. Hey, Bear. You know you got a guy laying down on the floor trying to throw up in the trash can, right? Okay, the subject there is clearly extremely intoxicated. We get a lot of alcoholics that come in here, and uh, usually they act like this. Uh, about the only thing you can count on them doing is throwing up all over the place. Turn on your stomach. Put your hands behind, behind your back. back. Please. Put your hands behind your back. Where are we bleeding? Try to. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. 
trying to resist. I'm just going through DTs. Well, you gotta, you gotta listen to what they say regardless of what. I know. Yeah, snack, just pull up hard. Good. Walk. I'm on the uh, misdemeanor anyways. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have you sit on the stool. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm not trying to do anything Just bad. sit on the stool. I'm not trying to do anything okay. bad to anybody. Have a seat. Sit, sit, sit. Uh, There's a stool behind you. No. I'm going to get the nurse to come in and look at your head, okay? My head, you must do. Yeah, you got a little cut on your head. It doesn't matter. You know the story. You remember me. Yes. yes. I'm DT. You're here more than I am, so you know the rules. No, but I'm going to DTs. Well, that may be so, but that doesn't change the rules. Boki, go to sleep, sober up, and we'll try it again. We're going to wait a couple, probably about another hour or two, to see if he can't sober up some more, and then we'll try again. Okay, right now we have a, uh, a prisoner coming in. He's uh, being belligerent towards this resting agency. He's yelling, he's cussing, and... Uh, there's a decent possibility that it might be combative once he gets into this area. They're getting ready to tase you. I don't even want to be touching you. What'd you guys pick these guys up at? We got called out to a local bar. We were told by, uh, by our dispatchers that there were two guys fighting with the bouncers out there, and they were refusing to leave the bar. When we got out there, they had the two guys out in the parking lot laying down on the ground. We just hooked them up both for public intox and headed down here. They're just being typical drunks. You try to jerk away, you try to move wrong, you get tased. Do you understand? Sit up. Bring your legs back. Right there. Right there. Keep it straight. Right there. I don't even get my intake. Right there. I just want to go sleep. Hey. All right. Calm down. All right. No name from a maze. Oh, yeah, clear first. No, no name from a maze, dude. Okay. I'll, I'll just, shut up. All right, hey, playing. calm down. Okay, you man. We'll get spread. Okay, okay, fine. You have outbursts like that, though. We take that as a sign of aggression. Stand up. I'm trying to, but there's five people pulling my legs apart. For real. There's five people pulling my legs apart. There's two, and one of them's not even searching you. I just want to go sleep. Hey. Hey. Clear. your hands or you will be sprayed again. Right. Give us your hands or you will be sprayed again. Okay. Ow. Oh, don't spray me. 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 <coughs> oh, it's so hard. We ready? It hurts. It hurts. Oh, did you it finish hurts. the search? Yes, sir. It hurts. It hurts. Well, Let me go. Let's do he got spray and taste. I got spray and taste on the leg. Spray me in the face. I can't see nothing. Well, that's the point of the stuff. I can't spray. I mean, I can't see. I can't see. All of this will not. I'm oh, spray. We had uh, two subjects come in that we had to use force on because uh, when they're extremely intoxicated as these two were, they're irrational, uh, they're prone to violence. Uh, we try to handle them with care, we try to talk them down as much as we can, but uh, occasionally you have guys like these that just nothing that you can do can uh, prevent it and you're going to have to use force.
Here in pod three, the different sections allow different rewards. And the idea is that when you behave, you're given those privileges that other inmates in general population have. This is section A of pod three. Generally speaking, we don't have any problems in this area. Basically, this is the next step to them going to general population. You doing okay? Not really? Okay, as long as you're alive, you're doing okay. We have an inmate who's been a problem ever since he's been in custody. He's been spitting, throwing feces, throwing urine, so we're going in to get the inmate to comply, cuff up, and remove him from his room. We're going to use the restraint chair in case he doesn't completely comply with orders to cuff up. It keeps him from thrashing around, hurting themselves or anyone else. Hey, uh, you got a second. Okay. Right now what he's doing is he's standing on his bunk and he's wiping feces on his ankles and his wrists. And when you guys go in there to grab that, that's what you're going to be grabbing on. So be off that. He's got it on his face and he's standing on the bed in the corner as if he's gonna jump on you guys. He could change that position, but that's where he is right now. So, thank you. Okay. Get your arms up. I want a jury trial. Why are you squeezing my hand for? You're a coward. What am I gonna do? Run away? Slim two. It's ten of y'all against one guy. One guy. He got the paintball gun. Shoot me. Shoot me. Paintball gun. Shoot. What are you doing? I don't mind being naked. I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Anything I say can and will be used against me in a court of law. I have the right to be sprayed with more foam. Walmart with your beautiful wife and kids? It'll be a couple hours. We'll see if his behavior will let us uh, get him out of the chair, give him the opportunity to shower after they've cleaned his room, and then put him back in a cell. It looks like uh, Sergeant wants to place him back down here. He's at his four hour mark. So he's gonna come down here and we'll place him in the shower. Maybe we'll keep him out here until we can get them cleaned up. We'll see what the Sergeant says, but let's get the water turned off first. Okay. He's here on a parole violation. He's assaulted other officers in the past. He's in addition to that, a threat to other inmates. No, I'm not going in that shower. Yeah, I'm a sissy. You sit, you sit here, you know what? Why don't you shut up and do something? Break your ow, ow, ow. Hang on, hang on now. Dude, it's all that muscle, dude. I ain't got no muscle. I know, I know. I want to make you feel good about something. Now come on. All right, that's gone. Damn. Damn. You got it? Kneel down. I'm trying. I'm not fighting, dude. I can't move. Okay, you're almost yeah. there. You're almost there. Oh. 
How's it going? Okay, bueno. But we got to get it all. Lord knows there's a lot. That ain't nothing for you. Hit me, hit me, hit me. You know what, though? I'm still a gangster. All right, well, why don't you put your gangster hey, hand out you here? you know what? If you're from the old side, I don't want to be here, no more. come on. I feel like I'm serving tea. Come no, on. not that hand. Look, look. Hey, uh, close your mouth when you wash. You got poop running down your face. The EMA workers do the maintenance as far as cleanliness. And we do appreciate them and what they do have to do. Well, it's business, right? Look. Hey, hey, turn your head, turn your head, turn your head. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't, don't, don't. Right, don't push me. Come back. Yeah, just move. No, hold on. Come here, hold on. Come on. We gotta get you going here. I'm sorry. There you go. You're doing good. Uh, sometimes a little conversation is worth it. So, another good day at Washington County. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. And they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my